Hey there, welcome to Tone Motion! In this video I'm going to make an original character from Dutch illustrator Siren. I follow her work for a few years and I recently bought her book. I really enjoy looking at her drawings. And I got inspired to make her demon girlfriend character into a doll. I've put all the links to her social media in the description box below, if you'd like to know more about this artist. But for now, let's make the demon girlfriend. If you saw the reflection of a purple demon in my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. Good luck find the hint in this video. For this repaint, I'm going back to my roots and use only a monster high doll. I always want to use a reboot Draculaura doll. And now I finally have a project to use one. This doll's hands have glove-like texture and hearts on them, so I need to replace them. Lucky, I have a special box for that. I'm going to use these hands I still have for my Franger repaint. Speaking of Franger, some people pointed out I make a lot of pink and purple characters. And they are not wrong. Blue is actually my favorite color, but for some reason they're all pink and purple. <laughs> Anywho, to remove Draculaura's hair, I first cut her hair as close to her head as possible. Then I fill my favorite mug with hot water and dunk the doll in it. I leave it to soak for a few minutes. This makes the final of the head soft and easy to remove from the neck back, without breaking it. Because believe me, you don't want that. Now I can go in with tweezers and remove the remaining hairs from the inside. All clean! To remove the factory painted face, I use nail polish remover containing acetone. Although it's not really necessary for this character, I really want to put some body mods in this video. Hey come on, people expect this from me! With my Dremel I cut the plastic off her feet and reconstruct them so she will have flat feet. To give her her signature horns, I step two wires through her final head. I get them through the neck opening and make a knot in it. Then I pull the wires back. To secure the horns from the inside, I use a hot glue gun. I wrap some bandage tape around the wires to give the horns some body. To complete the horns, I use my lovely epoxy sculpt. I cut my tools and start sculpting. When I was sculpting, I was thinking, hey, does the demon girlfriend actually have pointy ears like Draculaura? And you know what? She does. To smooth out the epoxy, I like to use water and a silicon tool. When the epoxy is all dry, it takes about 24 hours. I start sending the modifications for a smoother transition from epoxy to plastic. To color her body purple, I could use red dye more again. Yeah, I'm aware I used too much dye. I left Olivia's body to soak for much too long. But to be fair, I used a tutorial from Red Dye More themselves. And they even say I should use two bottles of dye. Anywho, I'm kinda happy I can use less dye. Because I have plans with all these colors. But for this doll, I'm going to do something different. With a permanent marker, I color the joints of the doll purple. It's best to do a couple of layers. To color the rest of the body, I'm going to use this new product from brand Vallejo. Well, I always say Vallejo, but it's a Spanish word, so it's actually more like Vallejo. Yeah, I'm still going to say Vallejo. I'm going to use my spray box, which is still pink from Olivia. Yep. 
Yeah, I know some people in the comments are probably going to say, why didn't you just use a Jane Bulittle doll? Well, I simply don't own one. The only purple doll I own is a kitty doll. But she has a smaller body, and I really want to give this character long legs. Before I give this doll a face up, I'm going to put her head back on her body. This prevents cracks in the face up later. To give this body some more life, I give it some body blushing using pastels and a brush. To seal in the body, I like to use Hombro Matte Varnish. It's not as good as Mr. Super Clear, and I actually only use it as an undercoat and to seal in bodies. Yeah, Mr. Super Clear is kinda hard to find in the Netherlands. Now that her body is drying, let's work on her outfit. She's wearing a black hoodie and shorts. So I took out all my black fabrics. I'll be using this Gulia hoodie as a reference by turning it inside out. I trace it on the fabric. I was kinda eyeballing it, but it's a hoodie, so you can't really go wrong. To finish the hoodie, I draw on the eye-shaped symbol. From different kinds of black fabric, I also sewed her shorts and socks. As you can see in her design, the demon girlfriend is wearing pink sneakers. I only had these can shoes who are resembling these types of shoes. I took off the can logo and filled in the blank space with holes to fix the texture of the shoes. Some pink paint and here we go! Now let's finally draw on a new face. To sketch in her face, I use watercolored pencils. I have an illustration of Siren next to me as a reference. Instead of white with normal human eyes, her eyes are fully black. Very interesting to tackle on a face-up like this. Her eyes are a bright yellow, but to get it opaque on black, it's better to have a layer of white. And of course, the cat-like pupils. Now that I'm shading our eyes with pastels, let's answer the question of the day. How far ahead do you plan your doll customizations? I was curious because you must know in advance. You plan on making to leave sneaky hints in your videos. <laughs> yeah, my sneaky hints. But yes, I plan my dolls months ahead. I mainly do this so I have time to collect all the materials. My materials come from all over the world, like Japan, China, England and even Spain. And it takes a while to arrive. The 9 upcoming projects are lying in baskets in my room. If I get new materials in, I put them in the matching doll project basket. When I finish a new video, I simply fill a new basket with a new doll project. So, do you have a question for me? Leave it in the comments section and maybe I will answer it in the next repaint video. Back to the face up. To finish the face up, I gave her some white eyelashes. To see on the face up, I sprayed the doll's head a few times with Mr. Super Clear. I almost forgot about these, but our hoodie needs some little strings. By the way, this is what her joints look like. Pretty great, right? It's not as great as dyeing the plastic, and it can rub off. But still a great solution to color the joints. Hmm, she's still missing something. That's right, hair. The demon girlfriend kinda has the same hairstyle as Felicia, but with bangs at the front. I'm going to make it out of yarn. When I'm making animal tails, I would leave the yarn as is. But for hair, I like to make it flat and shiny with a hair styler. To make yarn wefts, I use a freezer bag. I cut off the yarn and glue them on the plastic bag.
wait one day and fill it off the bag. Oh, the best feeling ever. Trim the ends and now we can glue them on the doll. With my hot glue gun, I go into a spiral to the top. Combing it in shape, but be careful not to scratch the face up. And some hair styling. Hmm, her bangs don't really want to lay flat, so I gelled it and hope to shape it by binding a tissue around her head. After a day, yeah, much better. To finish the doll and to pop out those yellow eyes, I cover them with a layer of high gloss varnish. I'm very happy how this sassy demon girl turned out. And she definitely fits in with the rest of the group. I would like to thank my lovely Patreons for their amazing support. Oh, and Patreons, you'll be getting an exclusive video very soon. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. See you in the next video. Bye!